Hello, welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. We're doing part two of my haul video here. So uh, in this video, I have uh, it's a really fun little haul, actually. So for my birthday back in July, uh, Agata from Forget Me Not Lacquer sent me a sweet little package. And she sent me a couple from Forget Me Not Lacquer and then also just a couple miscellaneous polishes that she had that she sent me so I wanted to share those with you and then I picked up a couple as well just um, some mainstreams that I saw along the way that I wanted to share with you so I thought that um, I would do them in this video so you guys can take a look at those <laughs> there's a couple I'm a little on the fence on as far as the ones that I picked up um, some new Sally Hansen or at least one is a new Sally Hansen that came out that I'm a little on the fence on actually I kind of wish I didn't get it now but we've all been there right <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna take a look at those. Um, thank you for joining me. I know I'm still missing Jacqueline. Um, I hope we can figure it out. Like I said, we're just really cr busy, crazy right now. If you watched my last video, I told you that we're in the process of moving, sold a house, and so things are just a little crazy, nutty around here. So it's really hard. And plus, she's really far away now. Um, I mean, it's not undoable, but she is on the very edge of one county and I'm on the very edge of the other county. So we're like literally two full counties apart now, um, which is pretty far. Plus I'm up in, you know, right now I'm up in the mountains. Hopefully it'll get better when we get moved into our new place because um, then I'll be down there a little bit more and a little bit closer, but she's still pretty far away from me. So, um, but we're gonna make it work. And I mean, she's still one of my best friends. So of course we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, without further ado, let's get the camera turned around. We'll take a look at these fun polishes. Okay, part two is going to be the rest of what I took from my mom while I was back in Florida. Um, so I have three of those. The first one um, is gonna be this one from Polish for Days, which is called Under the Sea. I have always loved this one. I bought it for her and always loved it and kind of kicked myself for not buying a bottle for myself. So um, I'm really glad that I am able to get it back from her. Um, so this one is basically a blue jelly, like royal blue jelly with, look at all those beautiful, like greeny to blue flakies that are in there, iridescent flakies, I guess. Um, there's like, I'm guessing two different types of flakies because you can see some that are sticking to the bottle there that are different than the blue green ones. And this is what it looks like on the nail. It's a little bit sheer. Um, I might wear that as a topper or it might need, I can't remember if I did two or three coats on this one. I'm guessing I probably only did two. So it might maybe just needs one more coat, but it's really pretty. It's one of those polishes that I'm never going to know when to wear it. Is it a summer polish? Is it a winter polish? Usually when I get like these kind of blue colors, I end up wearing them in September because it's like the end of summer, but yet it's kind of dark too. And September is blue for sapphire. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. Maybe I'll leave it out and wear it in September. And then I got one other polish for days that I took back from her, which is this old one, um, which is called Moon Glade. And it's sort of in like a dark gray, blue gray, dark blue gray base, jelly, crelly, I guess, with these UCC flakies, a whole bunch of UCC flakies, probably more than one kind. And this one is what it looks like. It's so pretty. That's definitely gonna be for fall. I'm probably gonna put that on my fall rack, which I need to get on doing that video too. <laughs> so isn't that beautiful? I don't know why I didn't pick that one up either. And then the last one that I took from my mom was one from our brand, which I don't know why I don't have this one. Uh, Jacqueline did this East, or I say it was a spring collection. This one's called Morning Mist. And it's just this really pretty spring green with some iridescent flakies that are in there. Um, they're, they're kind of subtle, which is what Jacqueline really likes. And I like that too. Sometimes I just want something really subtle. If, I think this is what I have on in my Instagram profile pic. This is what I was wearing when I took that picture. And I just love this green. I love that it's like a blue tone green. And I was like, this can't stay here. I need to bring it back with me. So I brought that one back with me. 
All right, so that was what I took from my mom. And then let's talk about what Agata sent for me. So um, so the first one that I have here that I is one that she just sent me from that was from Garden Path Lacquers. And look at this. This is called I Forgive You. It's from PPU in November of 23. And look at that. It's kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's definitely got that blue shimmer. And then it has this sort of champagne, I have a champagne hollow. And it's kind of in a, like maybe a brown base, brown jelly base, but like a lighter tan, neutrally, neutral tan base. There's definitely hollow in there. Look at all that hollow that's in there. Um, we're gonna look at it a couple of different ways. The first way is three coats on its own. So that's three coats on its own. And then I also tried putting it over top of this one. Uh, this is from Essence, this kind of like brick red, and it's called, and it's kind of scratched off. That's, that's the spirit. So this one's called That's the Spirit. And this is what it looks like on top of it. Isn't that cool? I really like it on that. That one's probably gonna go on my fall rack for that because I love that early fall. That would be so fun. Okay, and then the other one that she sent me, not made me, but sent me, um, is this one from ILMP. I think she bought a duplicate of it by accident. Hey, we've all been there. Uh, this is called Good Vibes, and it's a blue jelly with hollow, scattered hollow in there. It's a vibrant royal blue jelly. And look at this on the nail. Look at that. Like, I'm so excited I'm hitting things. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's really pretty. I love it. Another good one for September. So, so pretty. And then the last two that she sent me were from, um, just from her. She she uh, gave me from her collection. I love this one. And spoiler alert, I've already worn it. Look at this pink. She knows I love pink. This is Barbie pink with a blue shimmer and some hollow. <laughs> this is called Free Love. So, 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 so pretty. And this is what it looks like on the nail. Beautiful formula. Her formulas are amazing. Neons are tricky, so. And then the last one that she sent me that she is from her brand that she made. Um, look at this. Look at that. I'm like beyond excited. So this is like an eggplant jelly with, there's like some, I don't know. There's iridescent flakies, there's black flakies. There's also some other type of like, I think metallic glitter in there, like maybe eggplanty, mauve glitter that's in it. And this is what it looks like on the nail. Look at that. Isn't that gonna be so fun for fall? I love it. So, so pretty. We're probably gonna do twinsies with these. So well, officially this one, I think this is the one we talked about doing twinsies on, so. So pretty. Okay, and then let's finish up just some of these mainstreams that I found. <laughs> So, well, let's see what we start with. Let's talk about these LA Colors. So LA Colors has these new, um, they're called Color Shifting Toppers, limited edition. They had a bunch, but I think I only picked up two. This one is called Retrograde. It's the green version. Um, do I need it? Probably not. I did want to try, I wonder what happen if you build it up on its own because it's pretty dark. So I did do that first. I built it up on its own and on its own, this is what it looks like on its own. So I think it doesn't have to be a topper. I mean, look at that. That's pretty opaque in three coats. So I think it'll work just on its own. We're going to talk about using it as toppers though in just a second. So um, that's what those other colors are, but that's it on its own. And then the other one that I picked up from that same line um, is this one. And this one is beautiful, like really beautiful. This is called Sunray. And I also built it up on its own. Look at this, look at the colors in there. It's got like this large particle shimmer that's in there. It's really pretty. And on its own, this is what it looks like. It'll still be sheer, because obviously it's a topper, but it's kind of like what, you know, I think it's kind of in to do that, to have it just where you can kind of see a little bit underneath it. I'm trying not to show it over my nails so that you can see what it looks like over your skin or what it, your bare nail would look like. But we are gonna do it over the pink too in just a second. 
And then the last one is the one I really wish I didn't get. Sally Hansen has this new line out too, the Galactic line. This looks so pretty in the bottle. I just think I, I, it's not supposed to be a topper, but so I, so it, since it's not supposed to be a topper, I really, this one's called Chromatica, by the way, Chromatica. I wish it would have been a little bit more opaque because I love the idea of it in the bottle. I just wished it was a little bit more opaque. So th literally this is it in three coats. I even did it, I think on another nail in four coats and you, it's like nothing. It's like absolutely nothing. So we're gonna try it over top of this dark gray and I'm gonna see what it looks like, but I'm underwhelmed by it. It's not even like it's sparkly enough. It's almost like it's not opaque enough to be opaque, but it's too opaque to even sparkle a whole lot. It's just blah. So I'm not sure where they were headed with that, but I digress. Let's go back. We're gonna try the, the green one, which is the, what was it called? retrograde we're gonna do that on top of this one from salon perfect which is mermaid oh show me the money this one show me the money show me the money from salon perfect that's two coats so let's put it on top let's put the sally colors on top of it and i guess i probably could have also picked some a different different base color but i wanted to try it on top like tonal colors here so yeah look at that that's really pretty okay i do think that that's really pretty yeah, I like that. That'll be pretty in March. <laughs> and then for the Sunray, this pink one, we're going to wear that on top of this one from Color Club, one of my favorites, which is Girl Gang from their Whatever Forever collection. That's two coats right here. And we're going to put this one on top. Look at that. This one is so, so, so pretty. I am really gonna enjoy that. I just think that that's so pretty. I might have to get a backup on all that. That's so pretty. I really like it. Good job, LA Colors. Now, does this Sally Handsome have any redeeming quality to it whatsoever? I'm not holding out hope. So I'm putting it on top of another Sally Hansen, which I actually really like this Sally Hansen. Um, this is just one of their creams from their Insta Dry line called Grease Lightning. And um, this is a really pretty color. I just think it's, yeah, nice for fall. We're gonna see what happens when we put this chromatic on top of it. Well, it's better. Okay, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? It almost gives it sort of a dusty purple look to it. Okay, well, it's, I guess, somewhat redeemed now. What do you guys think? I think at one point when I first brought it home, I tried it over black and I didn't like it. So, but I, th I think I like it over this gray. It went on pretty evenly. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. All right, well, that's it for my uh, haul videos there. So what do you think about these polishes that I picked up? Have you seen any of these new ones from LA Colors? Do you have any of these? Are you wearing them? I'd love to know. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.